Welcome to Counselor's Corner. My name is Craig Hawkins. I'm a counselor at Midland High, and this is Lori Hallberg, counselor at Dow High School. This month, we're gonna cover some of the important topics for the month of February. One of the main things that we do in February in the counseling offices is we go through this selection process where we help students pick the courses that they're gonna take for the next school year. We meet with each person individually, and that allows us to really talk to the student, find out what, again, their goals are, what kind of classes they want to take, what kind of electives they'd like to take, and we go through that individually with them. And then, again, they can talk about that at home, we put that in the computer, and then that'll be an opportunity later, at a later date for parents to look at those courses that the students have selected. One of the things that makes it a little bit easier for our students is the core classes are recommended by their core teacher. So the English, math, science, social studies, uh, quite often the world languages, if a student is in that, their teacher will recommend what is the most appropriate class for them to take in the next year. And then we go through those and confirm that with them and then look at their electives and talk about what they're interested in, what their career goals might be, what their college readiness status is. You know, we'll go through all of that with the kids when we meet with them individually and go through this selection process. So it's an important time. We want that to be a combination of us, the student, the parents, and choosing those classes that are gonna be best for them as they go through high school. And we do that with ninth, 10th, and 11th graders. Uh, we also do that obviously with the eighth graders and the eighth grade, the counselors at the eighth grade level do that as well. Um, another important part of February is our incoming 12th grade parent night. That's an important time for students. Um, parents want to know what does my senior have to have? What do they have to do? We talk about the application process, we talk about uh, colleges, many topics that are very important to seniors when you're going into that very last year. So that's another thing to look for in the month of February. Uh, we'll be publicizing those dates as soon as possible. Uh, another pretty important thing uh, for actually the month of March is we will be doing AP advanced placement registrations. Those students can then take a test in the advanced placement programs to earn potential college credit. Now again, that registration is done in the month of March, but we want students to be thinking about that whole process and are they gonna actually register for an advanced placement test. Um, so again, any questions on that, anything that we can help with in any of these decisions, we wanna make sure that you know our doors are always open, we're always there to answer questions, especially as your students are picking those classes and you're helping them through that process. Because like I said, it is a team approach and we want us all to work together to make it the best opportunity for your student. So looking ahead to the beginning of March, we have the MME for all juniors. It's three days of testing, and again, all juniors will be taking this test. The first day is the ACT plus writing, and that is a full day of testing. Um, students start at the beginning of the day, and normally it goes till about one o'clock. The second day is work keys, which is a component through ACT. And those tests include reading for information, applied math, and locating information. The third day is the Michigan components of the test. And there are additional tests for math, science, and social studies. So as we prepare for the MME, we will meet with all the juniors probably the end of February to do some of the pre-bubbling. And when we do that, especially for the ACT, the first day of testing, um, it is best if students use their Social Security number so that when they take the test, um, their scores will be stored under their Social Security number in case they take it again. The other thing that students want to think about when they're registering for that ACT part of the MME is selecting four colleges to send their scores to. Um, a, if they go to the ACT test again and select different colleges, that's okay. And they can always go to ACT.org and send their scores to a different college. But the reason they want to think about four colleges for right now to send their score to is because otherwise there is a fee attached to this. The ACT scores are not on our transcripts. So all colleges that want the ACT score need to get that score directly from ACT.org. Um, the other thing with testing, and this is really in March, but something to start thinking about is for all sophomores. We will be doing the plan test, which is actually a uh, practice ACT, but it also has a career component on it. And we really like giving this test because the career portion. 
there are so many different careers out there and many that students aren't even aware of. So we like giving the test and then when we give back the results, we um, are in the computer lab and we help them to research different careers and look at what the, um, what the test says they're interested in, but then also talk about what are their subject areas and other things that they are interested in. So the, the tests that we're looking ahead to are in March, but it takes everything that we're doing in February leading up to it. That's this month's edition of Counselor's Corner. Please join us again next month when we'll be talking about important information in March.